Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I was thinking whether I should say sorry uh, for not writing anything, but I said no. Um, actually, I did not prepare any written speech, and I did it for a reason. Um, it is my first time to speak in a formal gathering concerning cultural diplomacy, and I was always thinking as to what should I go and speak there. But then I got lucky that when I got here, I was placed in a room there, it's a speaker's lounge. Then I was looking at 12 photos. Um, I saw one about the events on peace and security, the other one about human congress, and the other one about Israel and Palestinian cooperation. Then I said, aha, uh -huh. then I have something. It's exactly what I was thinking about the importance of cultural diplomacy. We claim, no, we live, or we claim to live in a global village. Um, the thing is, this world has a diversity of culture, of cultures. Now, diversity of cultures is a resource, but if mishandled, it could be a disaster. What do I mean by this? When we use the term diversity, we acknowledge that there are differences. But we use the term diversity to recognize that there is too much, there's more in common among us than our differences. Mishandling of diversity means that people can fall into that trap of seeing more the differences than what we have in common. And that would lead us into a lot of troubles. I don't want to mention what those troubles are because I know from the schedules that uh, some people have been or are about to present about uh, um, uh, cultural diplomacy and uh, conflict, uh, cultural di diplomacy and how to, well, the question of inclusiveness, etc., etc. So what I want to say here is that um, Uh, the significance of cultural diplomacy cannot be ignored today where the whole world is striving to live together, where there is a lot of interaction among people. In, in former days, it was just the question of states, but states alone cannot do everything. You have people-to-people -people communication, uh, people do businesses, people migrate to find green up patches. Of course, unfortunately, other people migrate, maybe because of insecurity and other reasons. But the common point is that we have to live together. And um, for some of us of a legal background, when I look at the various human rights convention, I think of the international conventions of economic, social, and cultural rights. And um, we lawyers normally say that um, these human rights instruments should be read as a whole body, and therefore we, 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 we say that when you, you, you talk about cultural rights, you should also remember about the idea of human dignity and human equality. And um, if we believe, and of course it is true that all human beings are equal, therefore there is no culture which is superior than the other. But this is easier, it's, it's, it's easy to, to, to speak about it than to practice because the realization of these values needs, as the former speaker has already said, a whole process of learning. A whole process of learning. And this one means that everybody should be involved. People do say that children are born innocent, they cannot discriminate, but they can learn to discriminate. The apartheid system in South Africa taught people to discriminate. We know what happened in the Holocaust, and that's why people are against anti-Semitism, and also Islamophobia, and all other sorts of dis discrimination. I believe that these kinds of practices do happen only because some people do not have enough understanding of cultures. And um, I should not uh, bore you with uh, many words. Uh, let me say that um, 
<sighs> How do I summarize cultural diplomacy? I come from a country where, of course, uh, let me summarize it by uh, taking the example of my, my family surrounding. I'm a Muslim, grew up near a Roman Catholic church, and the mosque which I used to go to pray in Tanzania is situated in a Christian neighborhood. I know that one of our neighbor in front of our house was a Roman Catholic. The other one was a Muslim married to a Christian. The other one I do not really know which religion he or she was. I mean, I mean it was husband and, and wife. But at the end of the day, we will celebrate all religious ceremonies together. We will help each other and we will just do everything together in times of troubles and in times of happiness. And I imagine that the world can only copy that if there is a proper understanding of culture. And there is where I think the significance of cultural diplomacy lies. Thank you very much.